Okay, so this handout is all about making the uh, connections between the, um, the all the maximum, minimum, inflection point stuff, uh, making the connection graphically and uh, numerically to sort of help you guys understand when you get um, when you find a uh, a critical point what it means or what it possibly could mean um, in terms of a graph and so um, this first problem it's asking us to uh, label which points correspond to a local maximum a local minimum the absolute maximum the absolute minimum and the inflection points and the remember the inflection points they're kind of hard to spot exactly exactly when you look at a graph but we could say uh, approximately where they are um, so let's uh, let's first do the the absolute maximum and absolute minimum for for both graphs um, the absolute maximum I'm going to paint in red so if you take a look at this first graph the absolute maximum you just look at uh, what the largest value of your graph is and why don't I um, think what I'm going to do I'm going to retrace the graph make it thicker make sure you guys can see it good and here the graph um, stops right here and stops right here so these are the end points okay now the absolute maximum uh, is the biggest value of the graph so right here this is where the absolute maximum is and the absolute minimum uh, you have to be careful it's not right here at this hump it the lowest value of the graph is this endpoint right here so this is going to be the absolute minimum okay so now that we've got those down let's do all of the uh, local maximums and local minimums so those we're going to do in green now one thing to note is that just because it's this value is an absolute maximum it doesn't mean it can't also be a local maximum and remember a value is a local maximum if it's bigger than anything every value around it so if you make a little bubble around it um, it's this value is bigger than everything around it so it's a local maximum um, the endpoint is not considered a candidate for local maximum or minimum so we don't we don't use that one um, and then right here we have a local minimum okay now um, I didn't ask you guys to uh, to find these but let's just sort of uh, make a note because this is important as well is uh, the critical points remember that um, critical points are anywhere where the first derivative is either zero or does not exist and remember graphically um, the first derivative is zero whenever you have a horizontal tangent line so that means you would have a flat spot and um, so wherever you have a local maximum or a local minimum you're always going to have a critical point so these two are critical points but then you also have another critical point and that's right around here at this flat spot even though it's not a local maximum or a minimum this is a critical point because the first derivative is uh, zero right here because it's the tangent line is horizontal okay so I just wanted to note that even though I didn't ask for it in the problem now the inflection points remember the inflection points are um, where the the graph changes concavity and if you take a look at this graph um, right here it's concave up but then somewhere around this general area right around here the graph starts becoming concave down and so this is called an inflection point right here 
And remember, this is where the second derivative now is um, zero or undefined. In this one, it's actually zero, but um, there are inflection points where the second derivative is, un derivative is undefined. And this is also an inflection point, because notice how it, it's concave down right here. And then right around here somewhere, it becomes concave up. But then right here at this point also, right around here, it becomes concave down. So this is also an inflection point. So um, notice that inflection points can happen at the same place where there are uh, critical points, but it's not as common as these two. Okay, now let's take a look at this, uh, this next graph. Um, let's do again the same thing. Let's do the absolute maximums and minimums uh, in red first. So the absolute maximum is right here. This is the biggest value of the function. And now here you can't really see, but or you, you can kind of see, but let me retrace it here. This is a sharp edge, and then we have a hump, and this is a, a vertical asymptote right here. Let me draw the dotted line for the vertical asymptote. And this is a uh, horizontal asymptote. So I apologize for the graph. It's not very good. Now notice that you might think that from previous classes that functions are not allowed to cross horizontal asymptotes, but um, in reality they are allowed to cross horizontal asymptotes um, actually many, many times. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that probably later in class. But for now, um, so this is the absolute maximum. Now the absolute minimum, um, notice that there is no absolute minimum simply because this guy keeps going down forever and ever and ever so this means that there's no absolute minimum because if this function keeps going down forever there's no absolute lowest value the function can be okay so with that being said um, let's find the local maximums and minimums well here in this sharp edge we have a local minimum and then we have a, a local maximum right here and then here we have a local maximum as well and these three are all critical points too okay now for the uh, inflection points uh, the inflection points, remember, that's where it changes concavity. So uh, this is this is a uh, straight line, so there is no concavity here. Um, and here it's concave down. And here you continue, it's concave down as well. And then somewhere around here, we have a uh, inflection point. because it's concave down and then all of a sudden it becomes concave up and it's hard to see but it but it has to become concave up or else it would it would not have a horizontal asymptote right here and so that's it that's what the uh, all of these uh, local maximums minimums inflection points look like and again we said these this sharp edge is a critical point the derivative is undefined here the also I think it's important to label the, this one as well. Um, the vertical asymptote is also a critical point. Um, now, it doesn't have a maximum or a minimum there because it's a vertical asymptote, but um, notice that um, it's a place where it changes from here the function is decreasing and then now all of a sudden after the asymptote it's increasing. So. Um, this is definitely a critical point, as well as the sharp edge right here where the first derivative is undefined. Um, and so that's the first problem.